Over to Jen. And a very busy week here in the Weather Center. We're tracking Calvin. A first alert heads up. Wednesday is when it will arrive close to the islands, right over us or very near us. And one of the earliest tropical cyclones on record for Hawaii will likely be seeing it as a very weak tropical storm or even a tropical depression or remnant low. Trade winds will steer our way with a deep tropical moisture. Potential big rainmaker for us. So heads up. We're talking about 6 to 12 inches of rain on Wednesday. Day. Over Hawaii Island alone, we could get up to a foot or so. And there it is for you. The latest track does show it awfully close to us. 100 mile per hour winds right now, making it a category two hurricane. So already rapidly intensifying, got us up about 115, moving west at 15 miles per hour. And notice the cone just at our doorstep there. By the time we get into Tuesday, winds about 40 miles per hour, making it a weak tropical storm. So it's going to be moving into cooler waters. If it does make landfall as a tropical storm, will be one of the earliest on record. In fact, we have Darby and Eugene. You can see the similar paths that these two storms took. And now we're going to be tracking all the this energy coming towards us. But Darby, remember that one back July 24th, 2016. It created havoc on the H1, creating a lot of flooding with torrential rain there. And also Eugene crossed over Hawaii Island as a tropical cyclone. And as much rain as we can get from this, it's going to be over probably east facing shores. We'll get the most and then we'll see how it hangs on over the mountains. There it is 430 on Tuesday. You see the circulation still a tropical storm. As we put this forward in time, it's a little bit questionable how strong of a system it's going to be by the time we get into Wednesday, likely a weak tropical storm or lower. And then notice all that deep tropical moisture impacting the far eastern end of the state. Windward and Malka will get the most rain, and we will be seeing a lot of showers squeezed out. Some thunderstorms where there are thunderstorms, easily one to three inches per hour. And then notice as it makes its way towards the western end of the state and then eventually departs and then back to trade wind weather. So a lot to dissect and analyze the next couple of days along with the swell energy coming our way that will arrive as early as Tuesday. And then you see starting off with Hawaii Island, it's going to be fast moving. So the swell energy not lasting very long, but along east facing shores. And we could also see that accompanied by some strong rip currents as well. So a lot of elements coming together on north facing shores, zero to two west facing shores, one to three, two to four on south facing shores and two to four on east facing shores. Your hour by hour our forecast pretty mellow weather. We're being going on cruise control with those northeast winds about 10 to 15 miles per hour at the airport. 85 degrees. We'll get to about 75 during the overnight hours. Mid to high level clouds. Really beautiful weather. 77 to 90 degrees the next couple of days. Notice 86 in Hilo, 89 degrees in Honolulu. And then we have those ice crystal clouds, but marking in red Wednesday. We may have to upgrade this to a first alert weather day as deep tropical moisture, strong winds and big surf will be coming our way. Thanks so much for the heads up, Jen. A tourist